Hi there everybody, my name is Jordy at Carving Fusion. Um, I want to make an updated video about the Dremel, any Dremel basically. I don't think this is possible in the UK, but um, this is the Dremel 4000. If your Dremel stops working, don't think the Dremel's broken. There's a good chance it's just your brushes. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this video is just quickly show you how to change a brush. These are the Dremel brushes, okay? See that there? The spring. This is the model number that I'm using. 90930-05, okay? See, it comes in a little Dremel package like this. I just already opened it up. So let's get this, um, you know, you got this little flat sc head screwdriver that comes with your Dremel, right? This thing. So I don't know if this is a site I already did or not. Make sure it's unplugged for sure, first of all. So then you just undo these little caps here. I think in the UK, these caps don't come undone. A fellow YouTuber named Matt Carves just made a video a while ago about how to change the brushes in the UK because these little screw things don't... Did I just change this one? Nope, this is the old one. Okay, so you see the spring here? There's no brush even attached to it, right? So, what you need to do, I'm not going to be able to really show you, but if you look in this hole... This, when you spin this, this piece, your, your, your piece here, with my right hand, you'll see a shaft spinning inside here. You want to make sure, so when I'm looking down that shaft, I can see that some of that old brush is stuck there. You guys aren't going to be able to see, like I said, but I can see it stuck inside there. Because you can see that shaft, when I'm spinning this, you can see that shaft spinning. So what you want to do before you get, you put your new brush in, you want to get rid of any old brush that's stuck to the side walls or down below, right? So I just got this, um, let's see if I got a little flathead. Okay, I got this little tiny flathead screwdriver. So all I'm going to do is just scrape the walls. Okay. There, look at that stuff that just come out of here. Okay. Maybe a little bit more too. So scrape the walls, make sure it's smooth so the new brush can get down in there too and give it a spin seems like everything's good so sometimes when you guys get these brushes you'll get them off amazon or ebay and there won't be the real dremel kinds i've used them right this this is the real dremel one this is the real mccoy but you guys can buy these online that that are just knockoffs sometimes they're these brushes are a little bit too thick so all you do is get some sandpaper you just sanded peter blair taught me this you just sand it down a little bit and make sure it goes nice and smoothly down the shaft, right? So we're putting this inside here. So see, it's getting stuck up in there, okay? It's not going all the way down. Make sure your, your thing goes all, your friggin' brush goes all the way down inside there. So what I'm going to do is pull out my little screwdriver again and clean, clean the side walls inside there. I know lots of you guys already know this, but this is for newcomers, so cut some slack here, please. And once again, this is just how I do it, okay? So maybe let's see if we can get this in here now. Still not quite going in there. Okay, good. It doesn't hurt to put your screwdriver down the center of the spring and see if it's pushed down all the way in. I can feel it's bottoming out, so it's good. It's in there. So all you do, you got the spring there. You put your cap back on it, right? And screw it back on. So there, you got new brushes. You guys, like I said, just um, Google Dremel brushes for 4000 or eBay or on Amazon. You can get them, or you can call Dremel Direct and get the real Dremel ones, okay? So let's plug it in, see if it works. There you go. Just like brand new. Hope you're all good. 